Hello and welcome everyone. This is Wilker and I am recording a spotlight for the new mod from Team C of H and King Lemming known as Redstone Arsenal. Some of you probably have an inkling of this. I believe it released today. So if you've seen some posts about it or some people talking about it, this is a quick run through of what the mod can do and what the new items that we're going to have to play with are. You'll see in front of me I have uh, a bunch of interesting looking items in item frames, and um, you'll see represented the Omni Wrench, the Battle Wrench, the Sword, the Shovel, Pickaxe, Regular Axe, and the Sickle. And what we're going to talk about is the different neat abilities these guys have, as well as some of the mechanics that have been added to some of these tools by King Lemming and Teen. Uh, first of all, you'll notice that much like some of the power tools from other mods, these, mod these uh, items do have an energy bar. And uh, you'll notice when I mouse hover over them, I get kind of a tool tip. It tells me the name of it and it says hold shift for details. And so here you'll see I have zero out of 160,000 redstone flux energy. And it tells you it uses 200 per use. And you'll notice finally on there it says also serves as shears. So the Omni Wrench, uh, a tool many of you know and love that can basically wrench any type of block from almost any tech mod, also serves as shears. Because why not? Because shears are dumb. And it's an item that has only one use ever. Um, I have set up over here um, an energetic infuser from Thermal Expansion because this is the easiest way to charge these tools up. I do have a creative power cell running it, so it has plenty of energy. And I just set up here a real basic example of how you could have a strong box through a hopper that will then power up your tool and, of course, auto eject it out into another inventory. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I think this is pretty obvious. I just wanted to show that the energetic infusers can um, power up these tools and that you can use them to sort of automate it if you want to. So let's talk about what these guys do. Uh, let me give you an example first with the uh, with the Omni Wrench here. Okay, so there's a sheep, and I can right click him, and ta-da, I get wool. Very impressive. All right. Next item I want to talk about is actually the pickaxe. Um, the way the, this mod works is by default, once you build these items, they will operate much like the vanilla tools that you're used to. So I can come over here and I can mine, oh, I'm in green. I can mine a brick and I'm mining all this stone. Okay, so I'm mining it a block at a time. Great, all right. Then what happens is, as long as your tool has energy, notice here it says it uses 200 RF per use, okay? And so I've used, I don't know, what, like 2800 RF or whatever. But now, if I hit the V key by default, you get a lightning bolt sound, and now it uses 800 RF per use. And what this does for you is if I mine the middle block of this, You'll notice it knocks down a three high um, wall of stone. Ta -da. In addition, the pickaxe gives you shovel speed mining of dirt. See that? But only one block at a time. If I wanted to do more than that, I could come over here with my flux infused shovel. And then once again, I'll show you without any, um, without being powered up, it uses uh, a little bit of energy, 200 per use, and gets rid of one block at a time. However, if I empower it with the V key, now it'll actually mine out a row. See that? And mined out five blocks in a row. And so just like that, I can mine out huge chunks of terrain. The other thing that the shovel does is you can right click and it will act as a hoe. And it'll do it in a, in a line for you. I think if it's not empowered, you just get one, see like that? And then if it is empowered, you get a whole row. And you'll notice those dry up really quick because I don't have any water. All right, next on the list, 
is our sickle. And uh, the sickle is going to do... A lot of you are probably familiar with the idea of a sickle. So um, a sickle will knock out a big, huge chunk of crops. Do you like that? Like over here, I can knock out bunches of grass all at once. Um, it also has an empowered mode, where if I empower it, now it knocks out a huge portion of crops all at once. Very useful. Ta-da! And the same kind of deal over here. It's empowered. I'm going to use it on this grass. Knocked out a ton of it. You'll also notice it even caught some of these tree leaves. Um, I'm going to come back to the sickle here in a second. Let's talk about the axe. What the axe does is mine a single block at a time, un unempowered, just like what you expect. But if it's empowered, the axe will actually knock out show you, a 5x5 five five area of wood. Do you see that? That cut that whole tree. Then I can come back behind it, hit it with a sickle, and really clear out this stuff fast. Yeah. So this empowered sickle has wiped out all those leaves for me, and I can very quickly knock out the rest of this wood. So look how quickly I cleared this area to like do something with. Right? Great. All right. So uh, we've covered the tools that you're probably mostly familiar with. Now I want to get into the two weapons. Now, first of all, the battle wrench can operate as a wrench, which means that if you have a, uh, a machine, let's talk about our infuser again here, okay? It can rotate it, just like any wrench. Easy. All right. But in addition to that, if you were to say have... How's my creature pit going? If you were to have a skeleton attacking you, for example, it can also... Oh, it's not going to do what we want. Oh, he despawned. I'm in peaceful. <clears throat> it can also rotate the mob so that he can't see you anymore. Notice every time I hit him, he spun around. Now, uh, both of these weapons, when you empower them, okay, see it's plus six attack damage? If I empower him, it goes up to um, plus six attack damage and plus three flux damage. And flux damage is important because not only does it uh, add additional damage to your attacks, but flux damage is completely unblockable. So nothing can prevent flux damage, which can be really useful if you're fighting, say, a creature that's infernal and has a bunch of armor or something like that. Um, now, where the real moneymaker comes in from a uh, combat standpoint, let's go into creative here for a second. What I'm going to do here is spawn a whole bunch of zombies. We'll spawn a baby zombie too. Who doesn't like it? Alright. So uh, here's the official overpowered item of the mod. I'm not going to bore you by showing you that a, uh, a sword hits things hard. But you'll notice my base damage on the sword is plus 8. And it, by default it comes with 1 flux damage. And then when I hit V and empower it, it goes way up. Plus 8 and plus 4 flux damage. Now, the other thing I want to show you about this. Let's uh, so I'll hit a man. Two hit kill on a zombie, right? Very impressive. The other thing this does, and this is where it becomes super OP. You notice all these zombies in here, right? Well, while this is empowered, if I hold down block, see what it's doing? It's actually repelling all these zombies so they can't come near me. And I'm holding back a whole zombie army here just by holding down block. Uh, and I, I think Lemming told me it keeps everything at about a two block distance. So yeah, pretty strong, pretty cool. I uh, <laughs> I can see all kinds of fun uses for that. It's too bad it doesn't work on players. Look, now I'm pushing this uh, stupid slime away from me. Die, slime, die. All right, so 
That is all the new tools from Redstone Arsenal by Team uh, C of H and King Lemming. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. This has been Wilker. Thanks so much, and we will see you next time.